Laboratory testing rarely picks up cases of hypothyroidism. There's two primary reasons this occurs. The first reason is that whenever the body is under more stress, it has a higher metabolic demand, so the thyroid goes up temporarily in order to meet the higher metabolic demand. So let's say a person's hypothyroid and they're rushing to the doctor to go get tested. When they're fighting in traffic, that's going to create stress. That's going to start raising their thyroid hormone levels. Then they get to the doctor and they're thinking about the doctor's bill and all the other things they'd rather be doing. This is more stress, so the thyroid goes up a little bit higher. Then they go to get stuck with a needle. Well, most people are needle phobic, so that creates a major spike in the thyroid hormones. So this pushes it up into the normal levels when they read the test. But then you go back home, you kick back, relax in front of the TV, your thyroid hormone levels are going to bottom back out to they were originally. There's a second reason that this can also occur. If you're under a chronic stress, you can elevate a hormone called reverse triadothyronine or RT3 for short. Now RT3 is structurally similar to your most biologically active thyroid hormone called T3 or triadothyronine, but RT3 is biologically inactive. What it will do is when you have elevated levels of RT3, it locks up your T3 receptors so that your body can't utilize its own T3 hormone. So even though you can have normal TSH, T3, and T4 levels, you can still be hypothyroid.